Insurance giant United Healthcare is cracking down on emergency room visits with a new policy starting July 1 that the American Hospital Association says will jeopardize patients' health and threaten them with financial penalties. The American College of Emergency Physicians said it fears the change will cause patients to avoid using emergency rooms because they will be responsible for their hospital bills when United Healthcare rejects them. United Healthcare this month told its network hospitals in 34 states including Florida that it will assess emergency room claims to determine if visits were indeed medical emergencies. Claims that are determined not to be tied to emergencies will be subject to no coverage or limited coverage based on the patient's insurance plan, according to the insurer's notice sent to hospitals. As many as 1 in 10 claims could be rejected, said Tracy Lempner, spokeswoman for the Minnesota-based insurer. United Healthcare's policy affects commercially insured patients with employer-sponsored plans and does not apply to patients with Medicare Advantage or contracted Medicaid coverage with United Healthcare, Lempner said. United Healthcare in 2018 said it had more than 30 million Americans with commercial or employer-sponsored plans. If the event is determined to not be an emergency, the claim will be paid based on the member's benefits, Lempner said, adding, we estimate that nationally less than 10% of emergency department claims will be classified as non-emergent through this program. The policy will take effect in 34 states and the District of Columbia, Lempner said. They are Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Colorado, Connecticut, Washington, D.C., Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Mississippi, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia and Wisconsin. The policy applies to the hospital portion of emergency room care, so patients could be billed when the claim is denied, said Laura Worcester, Associate Executive Director of Public Affairs for the Emergency Physicians Organization based in Washington, D.C. If United doesn't cover it, then the patient will be on the hook, she said. It looks like they are not on the hook for the emergency physician's bill. We are trying to get more information on that. She could not say if other insurers will adopt a similar policy. I'm sure they will be keeping an eye on it, she said. This is not the first time that insurers have adopted policies to deny claims from emergency rooms, often the costliest source of medical care. Indianapolis-based Anthem adopted a similar policy in 2018 that is the subject of a lawsuit by the Emergency Physicians Group, she said. And United Healthcare in 2018 began reducing emergency room claims when it determined coding was inappropriate.